Hi, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you, Darren? Yeah, I'm really well. Thank you. Uh, so right off the bat, um, you've obviously played real people before, but yeah. uh, Jimmy is a bit different. And so what was kind of your process in learning about him and understanding him as a character before diving into the show? I think it, what was different and appealing to me about it is that he's he's not he's not he's not someone that I think you are required or expected to love immediately because he's kind of you know you could argue that he's not the nicest of guys you know he's a bit of a womanizer and kind of quite conceited and smug and arrogant um, in our story not the real guy I <laughs> I, I have to I have to stress. Um, but that presents an interesting challenge for me as an actor because you kind of still want to create a persona and a character that the audience will follow and 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 stay on the side of. Um, but I think, you know, through him having this very loving relationship with his father and, you know, as the show unfolds, you begin to learn a little bit why about why he's he is the way he is. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, you know, that, that's that's kind of what I was drawn to about the whole thing that it, it's not really like anything I've done before so as well as just being a terrific story and um and a terrific you know sort of pedigree of filmmakers who have who, who have brought this to the, to the screen um I just loved the opportunity to play something so different you know and Jimmy certainly was that yeah and it, it is a little sad you mentioned his relationship with his father it is a little sad because it's big Jim Keen was uh played by Ray Liotta um, and so what was that kind of relationship like in building that father and son with him uh, during the show? Yeah, it was for, for me as an actor, it was it was a very, a very it was a very special experience. In fact, I, 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 I've never done it before, but I wrote a journal for this when I when I first started filming this job. And I went back and looked the other day and I read the first day that Ray and I worked together and I and um there's just a quality, I sort of seem a little bit, um, I don't know, I'm obviously pensive and a little bit uh, reflective and emotional when I'm writing it because we did just have this kind of very special connection that I can't really account for. Um, he he just, he just came with this, he was very reserved, but also incredibly open with me and very alive to me. And we uh, just clicked into this role of, father and son very very easily and it's partly to do with how great the writing is but it's also a testament to how wonderful an actor he was and um and I think he felt that we were similar in the way we approached things and and I felt that too and um and we had the same ideas about how that relationship should be and I'm phenomenally proud of how those scenes have turned out I really 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 love the scenes with Ray oh yeah I think they're very great. And I do have to say, I was like, I'm Italian and I know my mo Italian mother is going to watch this show and be like, he was so good as an Italian boy. I was like, but like, oh, thank you. Thank I know you. how she's going to react to it. But uh, what was really cool about Jimmy as a character is like, he does have his moments where he's funny. Like he reacts to things. Yeah. And it's funny, but it's in a situation where he's like, I could die here. Yeah. And then thinking about when he's brushing his teeth and he's getting kind of like grilled by Larry and he's just like, yeah, like you, you your details were wrong, but it's like, he's like, I'm terrified. Yeah. And so where did you kind of find those moments where he is like, he's a smart ass. And so there are instances where he's using that as a defense mechanism and it's funny, but it's also like, we get that it is dire. Well, I think it's you know there's a there's 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 an absurdity to Larry that is kind of as 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 obviously it's uh, disturbing, but it's also kind of faintly kind of amusing if you forget about the the fact that he may have done these terrible terrible things and and Dennis wisely included these little moments of levity in the script because it is in, it is intense and it is dark and. Uh, I think it needs those little moments where we can breathe slightly and Jimmy kind of kind of laughs to himself and acknowledges that, you know, this is this is this is insane. Um, so I'm glad you feel that way. And I'm glad you you noticed those little moments of lightness because we tried to pepper them in a bit along the way so that it didn't just constantly feel like, you know, dark doom and gloom. What? 
it, it helps because, okay, I will admit, I am very loud on social media about how I think you should have an Oscar for Rocket Man, and to this day, we'll fight anyone about that Oscar season that uh, you were not nominated. Well, it's that's my very favorite. kind of you. Thank you. Thanks very much. I, that I'll, that'll be on my gravestone is like fought for Taron Edgerton's uh, Rocket Man and Oscar. You but, should rethink that, but thank you. <laughs> it's just going to go right across. <laughs> but with that, it was like, this is further proof for me that like you are my generation's like one of our most talented because the scenes where like he's essentially faking a friendship with Larry into like sobbing in his bed because he is like reliving what this man did are just so good because you forget for a moment like the like you said like the darkness of this story that's being told and so a lot of that does come from the relationship that Larry and uh, Jimmy have and so how did you kind of work with Paul on that dynamic and understanding the two characters but also understanding you both as actors well it's really weird but it's it's a it's a it's a difficult relationship to figure out because I, you know, Jimmy is repulsed by Larry, and um, but 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 also it's 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 absolutely written into the script that there are definitely moments where Larry says things that Jimmy recognizes in himself, and that's part of what contributes to Jimmy's transformation and journey through the story. Um, so whilst it's important that Jimmy's facade never drops and he's always kind of manipulating to try and get Larry to tell him things, um, it's sort of also important where there are moments where it kind of just feels like two guys shooting the shit, as they say, you know, and, um, and those were, those were, those were fun moments to see, um, f f fun scenes and moments to shoot because, um, they represented a little bit of a break from the really dark stuff. Um, and Paul, you know, Paul's instincts for when to take it to a place where it's unnerving and unsettling and, and, and alarming. And then also knowing when there's moments to try and make him seem actually quite innocent and innocuous and um, without an agenda are, are really on point. And, um, it always felt like a very delicate balance because there are things that we're saying we're supposed to be noticing each other and sizing each other up, but not letting on that we're sizing each other up. And it's a, it feels like it felt like a bit of a tightrope, but um, a great acting challenge. And and there's no one I would have rather do it with. So um, yeah, but I'm so glad you uh, you liked it. Yeah, I watched it all yesterday in one go and like couldn't stop. And I like stopped for a minute because my friends wanted to watch something, and I was like. Okay, is this almost over? And then we went back to <laughs> finish good. the last episode. That's but um, I do think uh, that's my time. I have to say, I do hope, I, I Chris Evans had said that the interest died down on the Little Shop movie you guys were yeah. supposed to be making. Yeah. And I hope that it hasn't died down because I was very excited for that. Yeah, I was too. Movie. At this at, at this rate, it's going to be me and Chris doing it alone on, I don't know, Sunset Boulevard or something. But um, who knows? That's we fine. I'll, I'll just be the street. I'll hold a sign that says Skid <laughs> Row for you guys. Nice, <laughs> nice. Well, thank you. But thank you so much. Uh, this was great. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Take care. Thank you. You as well. Bye.